This is an important by-election. And for those voters who put a one beside the Nationals, a one beside Trevor Hicks can guarantee that they will get somebody who is determined to represent their interests in the federal parliament, somebody who has the runs on the board, somebody who has, by his vast experience over a lifetime of community service, been putting out there for people. And that's what matters in this by-election. It's people. If you vote for Trevor Hicks, you'll get a rural representative who knows and understands the people, understands their issues, understands the things that are important for Eden Monero. Whether it's the coast, whether it's in Queen Bianne, uh, no matter where it is in this vast, wide electorate, Trevor has been there. He understands the issues. People know him. They have every respect and faith in his ability to do the job. And I'll be proud to stand alongside him, as I've done in the past, but certainly over the next four weeks, alongside John, to make sure that the things that really matter most, relief and recovery efforts from the bushfires, the terrible, terrible bushfires, the drought, which of course is still ongoing. John and I were just talking about it as we walked over here, the effects of that prolonged drought. Of course, uh, COVID-19 as well. Uh, we need the right person in the parliament to make sure that they're talking about the right issues that matter for the people of Eden Monero. Jobs, relief and recovery, and getting on with doing the job for this wonderful regional electorate. So I'll pass over to John to say a few words, and then we'll hear from Trevor. Thanks, Michael, and uh, to the Deputy Prime Minister, and, and now to our newly elected, or pre-selected candidate. Uh, the National Party is a grassroots party, and the, the membership this morning uh, has pre-selected a grassroots candidate, a father, uh, a husband, a uh, local councillor, former deputy uh, mayor, former businessman and someone that understands the land. Uh, he comes from Captain's Flat on the edge of uh, Queen Bian. Uh, he's been vocal in the community. He was part of the Palarang Shire Council and then became a councillor on the merged Queen Bian Palarang Council. Uh, Trevor has been part of this community, someone that I've had the opportunity to work with uh, as the state member. Now, this electorate, uh, this by-election brings an opportunity uh, for the people of Eden Monero. Uh, we've been smashed by drought. Uh, we've been smashed by bushfires. And of course, the pandemic in itself has meant uh, we're suffering like everyone else in this state and in this country. But this by-election, we can do something different. We can put our platform forward as the nationals, fighting for what we believe in. We have an opportunity at this by-election to give the voters of Eden Monero an option beyond the Liberal Party and an option beyond the Labor Party. Uh, for a candidate, and that he's been part of the community. Peter Hendy was the last Liberal member for Eden Monero, and can I say, was one of the worst. Was one of the worst. Why? Because he didn't care about his community. Mike Kelly, who's a mate of mine and a good local member, couldn't deliver because he was actually in opposition. So at this by-election, you have an opportunity to vote for the Nationals, something different, and people can look at my track record as the member for Monero, delivering for this region, a record amount of investment, and it'd be great to see if we can do that at a federal level. We have an opportunity in Monero to vote for a national so that I can work with that individual and make sure we continue to deliver. And there is an opportunity, because by-election and this by-election won't change the face of government. The voters will have an opportunity uh, to actually send a message. The message should be that the National Party are a voice for the region, and that is why today we, of course, have pre-selected someone like Trevor Hicks. So with that, I'll ask the candidate to say a few words. Yeah. Thank you, John. Hell yeah, hi everyone. I'm Trevor Hicks. I, um, I've been in small business in Queanbeyan for 22 years. I've, I've been on council, Palarine Council, and now Queanbeyan Palarine Council for the last eight years. I've, I've enjoyed working for the community and delivering the projects, such as this great park for Queanbeyan and, and Palarine. And um, now I'm so excited that the, the National Party has backed me and, and, and have given me a chance to go further out into our electorate in such a tough time for what what we've had in the last 12 months. I, um, I came from Naruma. I was, I was down at the fires over Christmas and I saw firsthand what, um, what, what effect it had on the community down there and I look forward to go down there and seeing, and seeing what I can do for the community. Uh, the drought has, has been here for probably two years and the farmers have suffered badly as well. Every corner of our electorate has, has suffered, whether it's fires or drought or now the uh, COVID-19. We, we need to get the community back running, back working, and um, I'm, I'm all for creating jobs in, in, in this area, and, and I'll be focusing on that over the next two years if I'm elected. 